cray cray. What, 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 what did Biden say about January 6th? That it was the worst, like, terrorist attack on the United States since the Civil War? Like, it's like worse than 9-11? Like, well, I he said something, like, ridiculous. I was like, dude, what is he? What is that dude on? Every time I see him talk, like, he is, he's slow as fuck. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm going to mix milk with, uh, bang. No. Should I roll with a cigarello? Mm, getting late. Mm, why not? Do you mind? Mm. Oh, it's not a cigarette, it's a cigarello. Um, what is his deal? Like, how can you, like, how can you take this guy seriously? Just, just he, he, there's a one video where Trump is clearly tired. He's not on his Adderall, and it's very sad. It's very, very sad. Um, he, he sounds like Joe Biden. They're, he, they're four years age difference. This is one of them is like on point. One of them is not. Um, he's just so tired. It's like, how do you think this guy is like running things? This guy's exhausted. It's not like he just did something. You know, he's just tired all the time. He had trouble walking upstairs. I mean, just, man, I'm Joe Biden's wife, and I approve this message. I just. Mm, 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 mm. can't be a dog owner I um I, I, today like I was petting a dog and then I saw another dog I wanted to pet you know I walked up to someone that I knew and pet their dog I didn't have to say like can I pet your dog right just did it then I did it again to this like group of people and I could tell like I didn't know them but I just did it like I was like casually like just walked up and they're like hi buddy like hey what's going on like they were like what are you doing without saying it like, you know, like, you're an adult. You're not a kid that can just go up to people's dogs. Like, that's, like, my son. You know, like, like you can't just, like, pet my son on the head. Like, I don't know you, weirdo. Pedophile. Whatever. It sucks. Like, I don't like... I used to, like, my dog, when he'd go for walks, I, if he wanted to go in someone's backyard, I would just, like, walk into their backyard. I wouldn't stop him from going anywhere. Walk in someone's front yard. If someone was, like... My dog wanted to walk into someone's house. Like, they got their mail, and my dog happened to, like, follow them. I'd walk into their house. With them. That's where he wanted to go. I, like, I don't want to deny him. Like, he only gets to go on so many walks, two or three a day. I'm not going to deny him shit like that. Oh, man. It's like, I feel bad. It's like, like, sympathy pain. Like, I want him to have fun and enjoy life. Hmm. Sucks being an adult. You can't pet other people's dogs. I think you're crazy. Whenever I see someone, like, that has the, like, dog harness that's, like, on their back... I'm like, oh, those people are so good. Like, they care. Like, they don't want, like, a choker. You know, like, whenever, like, my girlfriend used to wear the thing where, like, I, I put the leash on her. Uh, I'm just kidding. No, it's just like, but you know what I mean? Like, I feel... Uh, there's... There's so many, like, simple pleasures. And, like... You, you know, like, why, why do you have to, like, alienate yourself from other people when you get older? Like, why can't you just, why is it, have to, why, why can't you be more gregarious or, like, intertwined, like, just go up to people you don't know and be like, hi, without seeming like a fucking weirdo? You know what I mean? Just like, hey, what's up? Like, like not like, oh, you're a new neighbor. There's no reason for it. You're just like, hi. I used to ingratiate myself in conversations when I was in college, and the two people would, um, Say, like, a girl was, like, say hi to a friend. Enters a Starbucks, right? She's like, hi. And I'm right next to her. I'm like, I wave, too. And instantly, two parties don't know that I don't know either one of them. I would act like the girl next to me I'm friends with, and the girl across assumes I'm friends with her. And the girl next to me assumes I'm friends with the girl that she just said hi to. And then the conversation eventually breaks off, and I go back to my table. And they talk amongst themselves, and they come up to me and say, hey, we don't know you. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, what, what, that, that's fucked up. Why were you acting like we knew you? I'm like, I, I just thought it was fun. I enjoyed it. And I'm like, well, but that's weird. I'm like, I don't care. I, I really liked it. I thought it was funny as hell. It's funny when people like get upset by things like that, but it's the same with the dogs. Like, I just entertain my, like, I'm, I, what, you, you work this job, you come home, someone's walking their dog. Like, hey, hey, I, I gotta get home. I don't need, you know, I'm trying to walk the dog and get over with. 
get it over with for what? To then do what? So you can numb out in front of the Netflix? You should enjoy walking your dog. Someone takes like likes to say hi to your dog. You make, like, I think you feel good vicariously. Like your dog's happy that someone's petting it because your ass, like lazy hands aren't giving him the good proper rub down. A little belly rub, you know? Scratch by the ears. What's wrong with that? It's so weird that you like, you feel like you're a weirdo. Like, ah, oh, this is, am I like sexually assaulting like this person's son by touching their dog that I don't know? So it's like, it's really intrusive. Like, it's like, like how is, it's like a person, like what? It's what I feel like. Am I crazy or do I get that in person? Like, you don't, you guys know what I mean? Like, you just can't go up to people's dogs anymore if you don't know them. You have to, may I pet your dog? That's fucking weird. May I pet your dog? What the fuck is that? That's weird. You shouldn't have to say that. May I pet your dog? Especially if it's like a little, like, cockapoo. It's not gonna bite you. It's like a little, like, Jack Russell. May I pet your dog? Oh, no, he's, he's, you know, he's vicious. Really? Come on. It's just, I understand some, like, procedure. It's like, like a, like a Rottweiler or like a bull mastiff, but like, come on, like, oh, man. Man, we're so, being an adult sucks. It just, it just, I don't know. It. Also, all the things that you like, you find that are fun, are so not like, I don't know. Like I like to play tennis and pretend I'm a professional tennis player. It's like delus like a delusion. Like I prevent, like I'm, I dress up like in this, the kits that they have, right? Like the Nike's kit for the Australian Open for that, that year. I'll dress up like that and pretend I'm Roger Federer. I like that. I want to pretend. Why can't I pretend? Why does it have to be this like big thing? Like I'm, I'm crazy. Like why does that? Why does that have to be the thing? Like oh, no, you should practice. You should practice and grind out and work on your footwork and get better. But like I'm playing for fun. Why can't I just pretend? Of course I can. I should be able to pretend. But everything's like, other than like certain things like that. It's like, the fun when you get older is really like dark, like drinking and drugs and like, like like spending lots of money and girl. There's all these like hedonistic things. That, I don't know, month, the money? Ah, the money is so weird. I'll leave with this. The money is weird. The money is weird because you have to work for the money. And then when you're not working, you're losing your edge. You're spending the money. It's like you're, 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 you're like, it's a vicious cycle of I make the money I can't spend it and live lazy and just chill because then I lose my edge and then peep, I stop making the money, the money stops coming or, or like I waste my life. Like that's the other thing. If you have, if you've made enough money enough to do anything, you do nothing. It's like, you're not really contributing or helping society. There's a guilt there. And then like you're wasting your talents as you get older, you realize, Oh, you know, you can't just like lay on an Island and screw models. So it doesn't, you feel you get empty as you get older. because you realize you could have done more. You're ever talented. You're capable. But then at the same time, if you give that money to your family, then your kids become lazy and then they don't achieve their potential. It's like, even as well as you can raise them, like there, there's not gonna be as like cunning or as, as, as like, like cold, cold hearted, like as, as, as aggressive. It's like, this, what is the point of it? It's like, it's really funny how like, it does in terms of cyclicality, like the whole idea of like success and like hard, hard work is competitive, but that end is antithetical to happiness. It just is, it, it objectively is. That a woman starts like, you know, being comfortable in her lifestyle. And then like, you realize like your wife is enjoying your money and like, you don't get to spend time with her because you have to make the money. And then like, you start feeling your self, self worth is about how much you, how much money you have. And then it's like, that's all you are. And it's like your health, your, your, your sense of happiness, all the joys you have in childhood are gone. Cause it's all about like my status. Like uh, it's, it, for a lot of people, there is this thing, like objectively, the real thing, the funny thing about selling success, selling like uh, like like personal development shit, it is a snake eating its own tail because ultimately that can't be it. Your life cannot just be, I'm a hedge fund guy. It can't, I'm sorry, it just can't. Like, you, like jumping out of helicopters to go skiing and like, I don't know, just like being present, like waking up the next day and not feeling like working, just like staying in bed with someone that you love and watching Netflix all day and going for a walk. Like that is so much more fulfilling. It really is. And not feeling like you guilting yourself into I'm not doing enough. And the people that are only happy when they're miserable, like when they're producing, 
that too is like a self-sacrifice that is that is ultimately like kind of like like think of Daniel Day Lewis like I just want to make shoes and retire from acting. I would not be surprised if one day like Elon Musk says, "All right, I'm done. I just want to like I want to like do adult coloring books and that's what I want to do and like that's what makes me happy." Like something like I I don't want to do this like keep ma- I want to just like do something that's not saving the world from itself, you know? That ultimately you have to have this balance and unfortunately to get the balance you have to like not be balanced like like that that's sort of the thing they teach you in terms of just like competing to get to something and you have to shut it off you have to shut it off and i think it would benefit people more if they're like fuck it i don't care about like your decorum or your emily post version of dog petting once i hit 30 i'm gonna pet your fucking dog whenever i want to pet your fucking dog and that's what i'm gonna do because it makes me happy and it makes your dog happy and that's the whole point of you going out on the fucking walk anyway. It's nothing to do with you. It's about the dog, you fuck. So I'm going to pet your fucking dog. All right. Subscribe down below. Um, have a good one. Uh, Deplorer.com. Please go watch Jeremy Friggins' videos. He's great. And um, yeah, stay fabulous. All right, guys. Bye.